my current favorite uh, quote mantra that I have been reading and resonating with over and over and over lately is that joy is the most magnetic force in the universe. Welcome to the Network Marketing Made Simple podcast. I am your host, Scott Aaron, and each and every week, I'm going to come to you with short, simple, and powerful tactics of how you can grow your network marketing business, brand, bank account, and impact on those around you. And just remember, network marketing is not easy, but it can be made easy with simple steps to create the success that you truly deserve. Welcome to episode 94 of the Network Marketing Made Simple podcast. And if you are a new listener, then welcome. And if you are a returning listener, then welcome back. And as always, if you are solely building your business as a seasoned or new network marketer on the platforms of Facebook and Instagram and don't yet know the power of LinkedIn and how much it can change your business, your brand, and your impact, then head over to my website, www.scottaaron.net, fill out the form to schedule a free 15-minute discovery call with me where I can learn more about you, your business, what you're struggling with, and how we can potentially work together. So I am super excited about today's episode and the interview that I'm going to be doing because this is someone that has become a dear friend of mine very quickly because we are in so in such alignment with what's going on, not just with the network marketing, but with human interaction and connecting and rapport building and relationship building. And this person has such a powerful story to share of overcoming adversities and, and the triumphs and tribulations of life and how life is a roller coaster and you need to see the bright lights of every single day that we are given. And again, as always, I don't like telling the person's story. I want, the, I want them to tell it to you. So Carol Elizabeth, welcome to today's episode. Oh, thanks so much for having me on, Scott. Really appreciate um, the platform to be able to share something that I've become so, so passionate about um, over the last nine and a half years that I've been in this industry and um, was really drawn to you based on how you are showing up and really showing what is possible um, with network marketing, especially because I think so many people are not taking a look at it based on preconceived notions of what it might be. And so I'm really proud of you for how you're showing up and, and showing what this can be. Um, and, I, and I join forces with you on that. And so I'm happy to be here to talk about something, you know, that I knew nothing about 10 years ago. I was fortunate to be a stay at home mom of three amazing kids. And um, I put everything into being a mom. And as sometimes happens, I lost myself along the way. And so I was, you know, sitting on the couch eating crap food. Uh, well, naps happened and really just kind of getting in a funk. And, and uh, at one point, I realized that I had to do something. And at this point, I really thought happiness was found in um, a body size and a body fat percentage. And so I went on a, a mission to to drop weight. Um, along the way, I learned about nutrition and health. And um, I really found myself getting into this physical shape, but I still didn't have the happiness I was searching for. I didn't know about the inner work and the personal development. And um, in that same time frame, um, I found myself going through a divorce. So I hadn't worked uh, for 11 years. And here I was uh, going to have to support myself and, and my kids. Um, and so I went and got a, a job working retail at Lululemon, because when you love fitness, you think that's the best thing on earth until someone tells you how much money you're worth and that you have to work evenings and weekends and hire babysitters when your kids are sick. So it didn't take me long to understand that, you know, the working world as it was at this point, I was 40 years old, 41 years old, might not be the way that I should go. And I didn't know what else was out there. And um, by the joy of the universe, an acquaintance of mine introduced me to network marketing, um, not my current company, but my first uh, foray into it was a, an MLM model, which I didn't know what that meant at the time, um, was based around a, a nutritional kind of shake. 
I say kind of loosely, but again, I didn't know, you know, any better. And I am a truster and I am a believer until I'm proven wrong or I see something that doesn't doesn't fit with me. And so I went to an event and um, maybe you're listening on this line and you you see the photos of people at these these events where everyone's jumping and happy and loud and lights are going on and that happened. And I'll be honest, I thought I was being punked. I didn't uh, really believe what the heck was happening. Why are all these people happy and why are they all clapping and dancing? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I... But I liked it because there was so much of my life that wasn't this joy. And I listened to people, you know, walk across the stage and tell stories of what they had been able to do in their life and mothers that were able to be home with their kids. And I really just looked and said, you know, wh why, why not? Why not me? And um, so I, I stepped into that business and I thought I can always you know, get another job that sucks if this doesn't pan out for me. And I, I went all in and I spent two and a half years in that company um, and did rise and get great success. It was a startup company. Now I know why I got fast success. And then now I know why it started to crash and burn. Um, and although I could make money, no matter what I did, I couldn't help my team make money. Mm. I didn't understand why at the time. Um, I really did think it was me and, you know, the the leaders of that company were telling me basically it was me and now I know it wasn't, but um, you know, I stepped away and I said, okay, this isn't for me. I tried it. I was able to create some money, but um, this is obviously what everyone, you know, says, because when you do join a networking company, the first people out of the gate are the ones that are telling you that it sucks. It's not going to work and you're silly to do it. So I started to think, Oh, maybe they were right. Um, and so I, started personal training. I started to build an online community. Um, I met a new guy. I got remarried. And um, but that that itch for that residual, that itch um, for what I saw other people living. And it wasn't about like ball or money. Give me a Bentley. It was like, how do I have money that I don't have to get in my car and drive and train a person and listening to them complain and them not get results? How do I make some money that you know, if I take some time with my kids, I can still make some income. How do I start saving for my kids' colleges? Um, and so I started to look again. And I'm so grateful for my first opportunity because it did teach me a lot. And then when I came to where I am now, I was really blown away on how different um, they can be from different aspects. Yeah, it's one of those things where you only know what you know. And for me, you know, I've always been psychologically unemployable because, you know, you've heard my story. You know, I, I've, I've only worked for myself. So network marketing was a really good fit for me. But it's, it's a really good fit for anyone that really wants to achieve a better life. And, and there's so many ways to make money in this world right now. And what I love about the network marketing model is that they can call it a pyramid. They can call it a Ponzi, whatever they want to call it. But the, the more money you make in network marketing, all that means is that you've helped impact that many more lives because mm -hmm. the people that are making a lot of the money are the ones that have the, the biggest organizations, which means they have all the people that are wanting to change their health and wealth for the better. And mm -hmm. for me, there's a lot of people that don't understand the importance of having multiple streams of income. They don't understand that you know, they're taking their jobs for granted. You know, God forbid someone's company closes or they get laid off or there's cutbacks and you're out of a job. What are you going to do? And there's a lot of people that are listening to this, Carol, that are in network marketing and they're not fully taking advantage of the opportunity in front of them because they're actually they're taking advantage of it. And mm -hmm. meaning that they're still falling back on the job that they have and that that paycheck that's coming in every two weeks pretending like it's always going to be there. And I always say to people, pretend like you're losing your job tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Pretend like you're getting fired tomorrow. Pretend that your company is shutting down tomorrow. They're doing layoffs tomorrow. How differently would you go about treating and building your business? So what can be said to that network marketer that's listening to this, Carol, about the action that needs to be taken? Because you didn't just sit back and kick your feet up and just say, you know what, I'm going to wait for those people to fall from the sky. You don't create the money and impact that you've created 
uh, being a single mom of three kids, then getting remarried. You had things on your plate. And, and that's the other thing, Carol. Everyone thinks that they're the only ones going through something. They're the only ones that are a single parent. They're the only ones going through a divorce. They're the only ones that have multiple kids doing multiple things. And, and I'm here to tell you, and, I'm, and I think you would agree with me, that you're not that special to be only going through that by yourself. Does that make sense? A hundred percent. And in fact, it's the reason you know, that I gained success like I did. And, and well, when I stepped into fitness and I started to do um, competitions and online programs, people would say to me, oh, well, this is a great business for you, Carol, because of what you do. Mm. And I said, no, you, you don't understand. People are probably looking at me and not reaching out to partner with me because they think they have to be fitness, Carol. Yeah. The reason that I'm successful, the reason I went all in the reason I stayed up late, got in, got in, or, or, you know, early, you know, did calls on the subway going to the Lululemon, figured it out, had events at my own house with no upline, no upline supporting me, uh, you know, no local, t- no people to plug into for a local team. I had to do it all. The reason I did it is because I wanted to be home with my kids. Mm. And anybody that has done anything within this business, it's because of them having a strong desire for something more and then letting go of perfection and what it was supposed to look like and whether they had someone holding their hand or not. And I think we can also agree that some of the most successful people in this business didn't have a mentor, most of them and figured it out themselves. And sometimes it's just this leap into the abyss and figure it out. But it's when you have a strong why Mm. it does take action. It does take effort. And I often say, you know, people talk about this pyramid, you know, is it a pyramid? Is it one of those things? And I say, well, you know, a pyramid is when you'd put some money in and you went and got friends to get money. And then six months or whatever time frame later, you all get this heap of cash and you don't do any work for it. And I would say a good 70% of the people that join me that want to create an income, they actually want it to be a pyramid because they don't want to put any effort in. They just want the money to show up in their laps without effort. And so it's that balance. But when you find joy in it, when you see that you can help people with your products, when you see that you can help people add a little bit, and here's the other, and this is fresh because I had a lot of calls this morning and one girl in particular, beautiful soul, great network, um, younger girl, she showed me, first of all, her dog who was hit by a car and just had surgery. And she talked about how much money that cost and the the dent it put in her finances. Then she showed me her apartment that she was living in that had mold on the floor and patch like duct tape on the walls. And I asked her what amount of money would make a difference in her life. And she said an extra $200 a month. And I think the other misconception of this industry is that we're telling everyone, go make seven figures, go make six figures, blah, 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 blah. Mm. No. I've helped a lot of people make 50, 100, 200, and that impacts their lives so much. So if you're listening and you're a networker, and I think I'm getting back to your question, who can you help and how can you help them? And it's not just about finding people that want to make a kabillion billion dollars. It's not. Helping each person get what they need for their life, physically or financially, and don't stop keep showing up for other people and watch what happens. Yeah. I think it's one of those things where that's the misconception, you know, success means Mm -hmm. something different to each person. I remember talking to someone the other day that started working with me and I said, what amount of money do you require your network marketing business to create that is going to allow you to be financially free? And they're in the the twilight uh, time period of their career. You know, they're getting ready for retirement. So they have a pension and retirement coming. And they said, honestly, if I could create an extra 40 to $60,000 a year residually, Mm -hmm. that would give myself and my husband the monetary needs to travel and really not have to worry about anything. Mm -hmm. And that's my point that you, you get this shiny object syndrome right? Mm. That I want to be, you know, and everyone I feel is trying to prove it to everyone else. 
<laughs> right, like I'm, I'm going to join network marketing and I'm going to be a success and I'm going to prove everybody wrong. I'm going to prove my family. Mm. I'm going to prove my friends. I'm going to prove all the naysayers. Mm. And you never want to build this business in anger. You never want to build this business with I told you so or resentment or any of that. You want to build this business with passion and purpose. Because in the very beginning, I remember it was about a month and a half in to the opportunity that we're a part of. And I started using social media and I started posting stuff. And I was out to dinner with with my, my closest friends. And my one buddy turns to me, he goes, what the hell are you doing on social media? I said, what do you mean? And he said, you know, you're, you're posting all these before and afters and all this nutrition stuff and all this blah, blah, blah. And they, and they started grilling me. You know, why don't you start your own supplement company? What do you need this company for? And they just didn't understand. And it took a little bit of time. It took a couple of years and finally, I, I remember a couple of them. I mean, they're all, you know, they're, they're all so happy and proud of everything that I've accomplished in, in both network marketing and outside of that with my coaching practice. But, you know, they all said that, you know, we were only my one buddy, Alex, said to me, he goes, I was only saying what I was saying to you to protect you. Mm-hmm. He goes, because I didn't know anything about the industry. I didn't know anything about this company. And I didn't want to see you get burned. But knowing what I know now and seeing you do what you do, he goes, I am so incredibly proud of you. And that's the thing. The people around us that are saying those things, they just don't know what it looks like. It's Mm -hmm. And Carol, the way that I describe network marketing, a lot of my analogies are related to being a parent because I, I am one. And if anyone that on here is a parent, you'll understand this is that, you know, the best way to describe network marketing is like a puzzle that you buy for your child. And when you buy a puzzle for your child, they have the picture of the puzzle on the cover. And then what do they do? They open it up. They dump all the pieces out. They set the front cover of the box next to them. And they start trying to find the pieces that match up with what the cover looks like of the puzzle. Right? But network marketing looks completely different. There's all those pieces inside this puzzle box, but there is no picture on the cover. (laughs) <laughs> because there's no way to really describe what network marketing looks like. You have to do it to understand how it works. So let me ask you this. What was the best piece of advice? And you, this could be in your current opportunity or when you first got started. What do you remember being the best piece of opportunity from when you first got started that has helped you throughout this entire process in your career? Uh, not to prejudge people, not like to stay out of people's bank accounts and marriages and uh, uh, kitchens and not prejudge what's going on in people's worlds and decide for myself who I should share this with. Mm. Um, that was really, that's really been the game changer. I keep reminding myself of that all the time. And then I I bring that to my team all all the time. And when I started sharing and I was really nervous about sharing the opportunity, you know, usually in these businesses, we fall in love with the products and we can talk about the products all day long. But when I, when I realized that if, you know, this is that cash flow quadrant that we talk about. And um, if if you don't know what that is, go back to his episode number, whatever it is and (laughs) and listen to that because it's true. Because I think the other thing about network marketing is, we fall in love with products and we talk about products and yes, we can make a commission a referral bonus on that and we stay there and that's linear income and you can make some great income doing that. You can make 10, 15, maybe $20,000 a year, linear income, time for money, getting people started on, on your products. But what I wanted, what I saw at my very first event and I watched people and, and the things they were doing and the lives they were living um, I wanted the residual. I wanted the more. And, and I couldn't get there by prejudging the people in my life and assuming that they were already financially secure or they were 
uh, a sponsored athlete, so they wouldn't want this, or they are building a brand, so they wouldn't want to be partnered. And it was hearing that over and over again, and then saying, well, wait a minute, like, I don't know what's going on in their life. People in my life didn't know I was about to go through a divorce. And I was super financially secure in my first marriage. Thank goodness, a person who hardly knew me sent me a message to say, you'd be really great at what I do. Are you open to taking a look and sent me one of those videos that we all think are cheesy, but I liked it because I'm like, they're happy. They're helping people. Let me investigate. And, and so I then started sharing that with people and just saying, listen, I don't know what's going on in your life. And maybe this isn't for you. And maybe this is, is, is for somebody that you know. But if somebody hadn't shared it with me, I shudder to think of where I would be. And now I understand I'd be successful somewhere. I would have made money somewhere. But would I be able to have the freedom, the ability to go through a health challenge like I'm going through right now and not have to be anywhere for anybody at any time to be able to take 10 days off with my husband while my kids are away with their dad to fuel my soul before stepping into some treatments that are gonna make me a little tired and, and I'm still gonna make money. And not only that, I'm going to make more money <laughs> each week residually. And so I started to think, how dare I not share this with people? They don't have to do it. I say to people, it's like coffee, tea, yoga, CrossFit, yes, no, it doesn't matter. But to not share something, to not ask, to not offer is doing a disservice to people when we only speak into our products and how they may, might make someone feel. Giving somebody the peace of mind that if they lose their job, there's a soft cushion to land or if they need a little extra cash. Chelsea Miller, a beautiful soul in our world, says you don't have to be in a bad position to recognize a good opportunity. This is not a business for people that can't get work anywhere and their life is falling apart. Yes, people like that have made it, but this is a business for the most successful people you know, for the most networked people you know, for the people that understand multiple streams of income and real estate and investments, and they want to play on the right side of the quadrant where all of the wealth is, but they don't want to have to give 80 hours a week to do so. Let me ask you this. You've coached a lot of people, as have I. What is one of the main reasons why people are not succeeding in network marketing right now? They're just not opening their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> They're posting on Facebook and hoping everyone will blast into them like maybe they did before. But they're just not speaking. They're, they're, there's something, there's a, there's a sticky point of network marketing. They're feared, they're scared of people, you know, judging them, like you said, and, and calling them crazy and all of that stuff. And then worrying so much about what others think of them that they're, they're not sharing and they're just not, they're just not opening their mouth enough or they're letting, you know, the five no's or the 10 no's, or if they get to the 20 no's, which most people don't um, get to them and stop them. And, and that makes me really sad. And that's something that also makes me sad because they're, they're basing their experience on a few conversations. And you and I both know that it takes thousands upon thousands upon thousands of conversations to create success in network marketing. Now, if you would be open to it, because what I love most about you is that you don't live by your excuses. You live by your reasons for why you do what you do. Would you be able to give people a current snapshot of what Carol is facing right now and even what you're facing isn't deterring you from achieving your goals? Of course, yes. Um, so on, uh, where are we? Well, May, May 9th, um, I was uh, called back into uh, a mammogram to have a spot checked. And I went in and then I got a call from my doctor and I went to my doctor's office um, and, you know, she didn't have the best bedside manner and basically told me there's a lump there. It looks malignant. It looks really bad. You're going to need a biopsy and MRI and we'll call you. And then she sent me on my way. And, um, you know, we we hear about these moments that we're supposed to live life for and, you know, any day you can have that thing happen and. God, like I'm, I'm like anyone else that just doesn't feel it's ever going to happen to them, right? So um, I, I had just a good two weeks of 
absolute hell right around Mother's Day. Uh, just I, I didn't even know what to do with myself. And I am a very, very, very positive person. So much of who I am is because of, uh, of network marketing and personal development. And I couldn't squeeze a happy thought in for the life of me. And mm. um, the journey has been on, in, ongoing. I had a surgery. I had lumps removed um, and I'm going to be embarking on some radiation and um, uh, drugs and I'm not sure about chemo yet and all of that. But what I, what I did is I sat back and a couple of things. I recognized that so much of the products that I use are everything that I've been reading about for up leveling our health. So, you know, if nothing else, guys, I want everyone to understand that network marketing in most cases brings the best products to the market. So whether you ever want to build a business, investigate the, the products that are out there because the, the quality and the ingredients of things um, brought to market through network marketing are usually far superior than anything you buy in a store. But what I started to recognize was like, first and foremost, the beautiful community that I'm surrounded by every day. There's no stress in my life. The people I talk to are freaking incredible. The energy around everybody is incredible. And I'm a believer in the healing power of energy and creativity and love and all of those things. And so what I started to understand was that I had this beautiful gift, this fact that I didn't know what was coming down the pipeline. Um, scary as all shit for sure. But the fact that I didn't have to go to a job the fact that I didn't have to worry about, you know, what if I needed some time, I got to clear my schedule, I got to just sit and be and start cooking and meditating and yogaing and doing all this stuff. And yet still Monday, congratulations, you've gotten paid still Monday, congratulations, you've got paid. And I started to recognize even more that my ability to sit into what was coming positively full of love, tons of energy, all of those kind of things was a direct result of being part of network marketing. Mm. And I thought how, how, like how many people are in the situation that I am right now and the stress of the job and the money and having I can't imagine having to show up for work and go through those two and a half weeks that I went through when I didn't know anything. And of course we think the worst of the worst of the worst. I can't imagine having to have been at a job and put on a face and not, I just couldn't have imagined it. So, you know, right now I'm in this space. And uh, as I said, I was able to take time off. And I thought to myself, I said to my husband, there are so many people, whether it's cancer, whether it's disease, whether it's whatever, whatever it is, that they've got something coming down the pipeline. They don't have the opportunity or the money Let's take 10 days and go to the beautiful resorts and fully immerse ourselves in healing and energy and meditation and, and just be and prepare for what's coming. They don't have the time mm. because the time has to go to the treatments that are coming down the road. And then, you know, radiation is like a five minute little journey. But in the middle of the day, depending on how often you have to travel, who has the ability to gosh, still do whatever you want to do with your day because you don't have to be anywhere on anyone else's dime. And so I'm a believer in life lessons. And I recognized in this journey, like, holy crap, there's a next level lesson for me, a next level enjoyment of educating people about network marketing, because I feel so blessed that I have a community that loves and and fuels me which I think is masterful for healing I have people in my world that help me with my mindset which you know people like David Wood who remind you to focus on the present mm -hmm. so he helped me really understand it doesn't matter you know what I'm going to feel like day 27 of radiation who cares it matters what I feel like now it matters who I can help now and and again I don't have to, I didn't have to do calls this morning I didn't have to you know do our conversations but I'm so obsessed with helping people understand this industry that it brings me joy and as I quoted at the beginning that joy is the magnetic force and I believe that cancer really allowed me to say where's your joy Carol where's your joy 
and the people that didn't join or the people that left your team or the people that, you know, didn't see it that I gave any weight to, there's no time for that anymore. It's the people that are holding their hand up and saying, tell, teach me, Carol, I want to make that $200 so I can get out of this um, mold ridden apartment. That's what gives me purpose. And in one book that I read about um, uh, healing yourself, one of the number one things was have a purpose greater than yourself. And mm. I thought, how blessed am I that I'm already living so many of these things. So I'm going through this with more ease than where I'd be otherwise. And that just elevates my desire to help other people. And it's, it's absolutely the truth. And, and it comes back to, you know, what you focus on is what you become. And if you focus on being healthy and being, being happy and, and healing, you know, your thoughts can, can do whatever you want them to do. They can help you or they can hurt you. So mm-hmm. well, first, I just have to, to honor you for, for being so transparent, for being so vulnerable and honest, because, you know, you could be looking uh, through the lens of what you're going through two different, totally different ways. And, mm-hmm. you know, you're choosing the route of, of happiness and, and, and healing and positivity, which obviously is going to reinforce so many amazing things that are going to continue to come back to you. So I first have to just honor you and your bravery and, and all the things that you're continuing to, to move past. So I just wanted to say thank you for all of that. Mm, Thank you. I've learned that receiving is another one of the great things. So I will receive that. (laughs) And so before we, we close out today's episode, there, there, are a lot of people on here and, you know, I have people all over the world that listen to this and, you know, I tell people all the time, all these companies exist because they're great. They all have great products. They all have fair compensation plans. If you take advantage of them for the beginning network marketer or even the seasoned network marketer that has seen a dip in their business, things have kind of gone backwards. People are dropping off. They're not having the enrollments like they did before. What's a very simplistic piece of advice you can give that person for not getting frustrated, but another way to continue to move their self forward? So what, what's something that you can say along those lines? Um, I think that we really have to look at ourselves in a mirror um, and, and ask ourselves, like, are, are we being the person that we want to attract and I know that's a really hard thing. And when I heard it, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm attracting hard ass egomaniac fitness people that don't really want to help people, even though I did, but that, that's who I was attracting. And so sometimes we have to look at the people that we're attracting and also understand that the journey of this business is about always evolving and always up leveling and and that therefore the conversations and the people that you start bringing in is going to up level as you do and some people um it's might need to spend a few years up leveling yourself before you even have the conversations with the person that gets it like you do and and that's okay because ideally you're partnered with a company that the products you want to come into your body or put on your skin or whatever it is, um, make food with, um, regardless if you made a buck or not, not. So that's step one. Like, do you want to be part of your company for the products alone, even if you don't make a dollar? Because if you don't, you might want to rethink because this is in a, there is a sales ability in this business, but it's not about selling people stuff that you don't believe in just to make a buck. Mm. And so really check yourself about, you know, are you loving the, the products or the, the thing that you're a part of in this company? And are you up leveling yourself or being coachable to the trainings of the company, regardless if it's your enroller? Every company has trainings. They've got training websites. They've got events. So don't say the person that enrolled me never taught me anything. Mm-hmm. Well, Susie Q, I didn't get that either. <laughs> I chose to figure it out and asked for help and went to the event. So get yourself plugged in. This is a business where you get to be your own boss. Yes, you get to do this by yourself. Yes, but there's a reason why events are everything. There's a reason why energy is everything. That's the reason why speaking to people like Scott is everything because we can get in our own little mind and we need to get out of our mind and be around people and the energy of, of people that see it and let them pour into us and then use that energy to move forward. So finally, before we, before I, you know, obviously I want you to, 
introduce where people can can find uh, you online, how they can connect with you. Very simple question. It's not a loaded question, but it's a <laughs> there's no wrong answer. And my question to you, Carol, is what does success mean to you? Hmm. Well, right now it just means ease. It just means an ability to breathe. It just means um, waking up every morning excited about your life and doing things that fuel your soul and bring in joy. Um, it's not as much money as people actually think it is. Um, and when you root into that, mm, it just feels good and you, you don't want to stop. I Not love it. Success. I love it. So how can people get in touch with Carol Elizabeth? Where can they find you either online or on social media because they deserve to, to connect and learn more about you? Mm, thank you. Um, you can find me at www.carolelizabeth.com. So you can see um, my podcast there. I have a podcast. I paused it a little bit in this journey, but Scott's is going to come live any day. So you can see podcasts at carolelizabeth.com. I'm on Instagram and um, I am underscore Carol Elizabeth. And uh, you're soon to find me at li on LinkedIn <laughs> at Carol Elizabeth. And I'm there, but just watch for what's going to happen there magically. Soon. Awesome. <laughs> well, I am truly, truly grateful for you and, and the light that you continue to shine, not just on me, but on all the communities that we're a part of. And, you know, you are a, a true testament to never giving up and always pushing forward. So thank you for your bravery again. And thank you for just being a part of my life. Mm, thank you, Scott. I appreciate you so much. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Please enjoy the rest of your day and I will talk to you next time. Bye bye, everybody. Thank you again so much for checking out this week's episode. And if you can, head over to iTunes, search for Network Marketing Made Simple, leave me a five-star rating, basic review. I would be grateful for all of the support you guys can give me. And again, if you'd be interested in learning more how to utilize LinkedIn to grow your business, your brand, and your bank account, head over to my website, www.scotterron.net. Fill out the form for your free 15-minute discovery call so I can learn more about you, your business, and how we can work together. And again, thank you guys so much. Grateful for you all, and I'll see you next time. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.